You ready? And I'm ready. Hello, everybody. I am Troy Dawson. I am the CentOS Alternative Images Committee Chairman. And let's talk about alternative images for CentOS. Um, for starters, for those of you who don't know, uh, the alternative images SIG uh, basically does what it sounds like. Uh, we started it, and I wanted to do it because uh, CentOS itself, although it does do QCOWs and all these things, the install DVDs are just big uh, 10 gig things, or there's a network install thing. And there was nothing in between, and that's why we started. And we've been doing live CDs for since the beginning of the year. Um, well, let's read the whole thing. Find alternative. Yeah. Just so you know, we we try to do it on CBS stuff, the official uh, CentOS Sig stuff. I forgot this microphone is really good. So, this is my semi-annual what's up and this this semi-annual what's up is actually much more exciting than many so this time we've actually been doing live images for three quarters we for those of you who don't know we update our images once a quarter uh, with whatever's the latest in CentOS stream as well as Apple uh, the image or whatever other repo it happens to be uh, these images that we currently are building are using CentOS Stream 9 and Apple 9. And we now have six different live images, all of them based on desktops or lack of desktops. Um, the last one I haven't ever seen, so I wanted to make one. So as you can see, Cinnamon, Gnome, KDE, Mate, XFCE, Max has all of the desktops installed, including a few others. Uh, there's some of them, some desktops in Apple 9 that don't make good live CDs. Basically, I can't get an, an icon that says click here to install. Um, so those are on the Max, and then there's Min, which is text-based. Because, you know, sometimes you just want to boot into your machine. You don't need all that garbage. Just run a command. So that's what it's for. So let's go through them. And all I'm going to do is show you the icon. This, this might be a short, short talk. But we'll talk about, we'll have questions and answers. We'll have a demo that will fail. All sorts of things. Uh, this is what Cinnamon looks like. For those of you who want to know what Cinnamon looks like. Um, just so you know, the backgrounds are on most of these are different. Neil is here. Hi. Hey. I live. <laughs> um, the backgrounds of them are, are different. Some people might call that a flaw. I call that a feature. That way you know that you're on a different one. So this is GNOME. Yeah, those of you who know what GNOME looks like, that's what it looks like. Uh, this is our KDE one. Oh, yeah. Oh, I fixed the install icon because, yeah, before it was, ooh, yeah. Um, now, Mate has the same background as KDE, so I'm considering that a feature, too. <laughs> but, but, yeah, uh, in past, some of them, the install icon, that's what Neil was saying, it, it didn't render right, so we, we fixed that. Um, XFCE, I love their background. It's such cute. Um, this is this is this is Max. So I, I got this particular screenshot. So GNOME, GNOME being GNOME, they have they have double entries for all their their GNOMEs. Have you ever? I'll get off that. Uh, GNOME, 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 GNOME. It's a lot of genome in there. There's like, what, four, six, eight? Yeah. There's eight genome entries. They do, you want to make sure you pick the right choice. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. No. Yeah. That's mean. C cinnamon. So there's ice WM, which, uh, yeah. 
Many of you guys don't know my scientific Linux. I put that in, ice, in scientific Linux for our scientists that wanted a really light thing. And I've always liked it, um, but it's really, it doesn't lend itself to a uh, live environment. Uh, Lumina is also on here, which uh, also doesn't lend itself to a live environment. And uh, yeah, I thought it would be better than it was. Anyway, so mates and then, oh, that's right. Because I was like, why do we got X11? Because this is nine. Yeah. Uh, when we do 10, there won't be. We'll, we'll have some we'll of them. We'll have four known, five known. Why? Because GNOME Classic. So standard, yeah, so, GNOME Classic. Yeah, so the ones standard. that say on XORG and don't have the parentheses Wayland. Yeah, so will, there's one, two, three, four, five, right? Yeah, no, so wait, we'll have, because there's a GNOME Classic right there. But and GNOME then, Classic doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, it does. It totally does. It's part of GNOME Shell Extensions. It's a bundle that creates a session thing. So GNOME Classic still exists. It is. I, I fixed it for Wayland. I know it is upstream in there. Um, so we'll, we'll lose, out of the eight, we will lose, yeah. we'll have five left. I can't math right now. I don't think ISWM is going to survive going to Wayland. No. We well, can probably replace it with Weston. I think oh, I finally fixed it. So we can oh, probably put so that we'll in probably there. probably have a Weston in there. Okay. But these are nine. This is our, this is our max. Um, just so you know, to log into nine, there is no password because it's a live user. Just hit the arrow button, select what you want, hit the arrow button. And not all of them have the install icon. Like I said, Lumina, ICWM, but most of the others do. Why do they have duplicates? What, the GNOMEs? Yeah. Go talk to GNOME. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, oh. Oh, repeat question. Uh, why are there duplicate GNOMEs? So the reason there are duplicate GNOMEs is that GNOME has this um, interesting mechanism in which GDM will filter uh, different de uh, session entries based on both the descriptive name and the file name. So they have a default file name for a particular session type, and then they have a non-default file name for another session type. So they have two files that represent the same session for every session type, depending on whether GDM operates in Wayland or XORG, or whether GDM is then configured to run which type over other by default. And since we're not running GDM, this is SDDM. And so therefore, all the files are exposed. All the files are exposed. OK, well, now we know. Hey, that, as Patrick said, there are no stupid questions if you care about the answer. And even if you just care a little bit about it. But uh, I, actually, I did wonder the same thing, and that's OK. Now I know. Um, GNOME. Hey, that's GNOME. Oh, is that what the GNOME kiosk? Yeah, GNOME kiosk. Uh, you know, at some point, so I might different. actually take get during the max max thing. I might clip out some of those. Yeah. I think that that will be good. Probably should just take those out. I'll, I'll, I'll. So next quarter, this will look different. How about that? The existence of the files that define that are controlled by the distribution. Yes, but not us because we are the distribution. No, Red Hat is. Um, if you, if you install GNOME and you're running SDDM on RHEL 7, 8, or 9, you'll, you'll get all these stuff. This is, this is alternative. This is... Yeah. Oh. We have a person on the, on, in there. Okay, you've got the screen. Six. Mike. Six are allowed to do whatever they want. Yes. What? What? Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> no. The, uh, but... But I can, I can, we'll do that. Yeah, I mean, we'll, he's just going to delete the files and when, when the images are being created, and it'll be fine. But, yeah. like, we d the ultimate just SIG intentionally cannot build packages. We only build images. Yeah, we're only building images. But I can remove files and add some files. Which yeah. well, why, why we cannot submit the file? Or we should, but... I mean, this is upstream problem. Yes. So... Why we cannot submit a bug to GDM to add SDDM filtering or whatever uh, so that it filters them properly? Oh, I thought the bug was that there's six files there. Anyway, if this is 
filter it automatically. It doesn't matter how many files. It's only filtered by GDM. GDM right. is the only one that knows, does that filter, nobody else. Does. Right, but it needs to know more about uh, filter queries or whatever is there. Oh, SDDM needs to know more about it. Yeah. So we have and that no. wants a two bucks to file, and that would be a good one. I, I have enough. I have enough real bugs to file. Um, and those of you who made it to my Plasma Mobile thing know I have a few bugs to file um, <laughs> about touch screens. Anyway, so this is Max. Uh, select your thing, hit the whatever that is, or I think you can just hit Enter. But I always hit that button. But don't put a password in. Yeah, don't put a password in. Now this one is the one that. Uh, I am most excited about this is min, which is command line. And I blew it up really big because otherwise you can do it. But there is a file in there called install to hard drive. And if you run that, you get a text-based install to hard drive. Um, I'm not saying that a text-based install to hard drive is like the easiest thing to do, but if you don't, if you don't have a GUI and you don't want a GUI, you can still install this minimum thing to your hard drive. I've done it, it's actually not that bad. I'm, I'm used to text-based installs. <laughs> so, but it, but the, the, the thing is, is you are ad automatically logged in as a live user. You don't have to log in, it, it, you get logged in. Sudo su works with no password, just like any live user. So. Again, the, the min is really great. If you don't want to do it, it boots up fast. So it's one of my favorites. Uh, and it's smaller. I'm trying to get it smaller. There's some, it's pulling in a few more packages than I want. It has a really nice background. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it it's the perfect energy saving background. Yeah. There are yes. comments about the background. <laughs> It's, yes, it's the best, best background of all. Okay, what do we got in going for the future? What are you gonna see the next time uh, if, if I'm at, uh, able to give this talk at uh, uh, Brussels? And, yeah. yeah, the next uh, CentOS Connects. Persistent media. Um, I am, I'm really excited about this. I just have not had time to do it. So it's next quarter, this next quarter, we're gonna do that, meaning, that if you put it on a real thumb drive um, and you have extra space, you can like, let's say you're on, on the text space one and I, I really just have minimum amount of things, but you want blob B installed on there, you can install it. I'm a, this is what persistent media works, right? Yeah, I, I'm double checking, I haven't actually created these yet. It, when the feature is enabled. Then, then I can install blob B or blob bay, and it will be there when I boot right. it up. So when the feature is enabled, um, if you put it onto a thumb drive and it has plenty of unformatted space, mm -hmm. it will auto partition and create either uh, an X4 or a Butterfest volume, depending on how you configure it, to then use as a writable overlay for it to store everything that goes on top. So every transaction, every package management, whatever settings you change will be stored in the overlay. And personal home files as well? Yes, all of it. Yes. It's been part of the modernized live media change that I've been trying to do and not having enough time to finish for like a year now. But it is, uh, now that Troy's also interested in it, he's helping me trying to get it over the finish line. And then basically all Fedora and CentOS alt images and hyperscale images would automatically have this feature just out of the gate. So, so that, will be, that will be good. Um, is it about this? Let's go for it. Go for it. We got another question. We got 10 minutes, but uh, that should be enough time. What I like to do is edit the grub config. Yeah, it, we're, we're right. hearing you. Ed, edit the grub config on the ESP on the thumb drive that I just DD'd the ISO image to. Oh. And then. The thing I can't do and I've never figured out how to do is to drop the chaos.cfg 
onto that thumb drive as well. Oh, so But the, because of the way Anaconda boots and everything, it'll never find that KS.CFG unless you have some way around that. Do you, think that. do you think this would be a way around it? There is a way, there's two ways. Okay. This is why, this is the first time I've had these talks where Neil's been in the room. Right, we usually <laughs> don't get it, we usually don't get a chance to do this. Um, so there are two ways to do this with Anaconda. So the first is, if you, there is a, you can create an X4 or FAT32 volume with a specific label, I think it's called OEMDRV, all caps, has to be the label. Anaconda will auto-locate it, mount it, look for a chaos.cfg file in the root of that partition, and use it. The second way is with the persistent media thing, we can make the live views, we can make the live sys scripts hook located in a particular yeah. location, and then we can bring it up and it will do the thing. Okay. The only problem is that if it's SDA, for instance, oh, it doesn't matter where it is. I think it's the label as opposed to where it's at. Yeah, the, yeah. The, the, lab, the label doesn't work. I've tried that. If I have oh. a separate drive, it works. But because Anaconda holds open SDA, it won't find that partition with the label on it. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll try it with the live scripts. So that sounds good. Um, the second one is we've been requested to do raw images for Arch64. Um, I could do them for XA664, but nobody's asked for that. And because, yeah, that's, <laughs> but Arch64. Uh, so that's another thing that's going to be coming this quarter. That one should be, uh, well, fairly simple because yeah. we're already doing it in Fedora. I've got lots of examples. Just haven't had time. Um, so anyway, those those two things will be is our next quarter six months thing. I don't think it'll take me six months. I hope not. I think this will be next quarter for the next quarter things. We'll we'll hopefully have persistent images and raw images for Arch 64. The only thing with raw images is we're going to have to work with um, Fabian about making sure they make it up to the same places where the ISOs are. So that's been fixed. I just got that fixed. Oh. Uh, uh, Good. That's, that's been fixed. We've just been told that that's been fixed. Because it was also affecting hyperscale cloud images. Oh, okay. Because it was affecting hyperscale cloud images. Okay. Um, like I said, if, well, especially if Neil wasn't here, this is often a short thing. <laughs> uh, questions and answers. I do have a short demo that people want to see. It's on a virtual machine because I tried it on my laptop and it's really um, un unappealing because it doesn't show anything until but uh there it is and it's just showing the side screen do you want a virtual machine or yes. do we have questions I'll tell you what let's see if we have questions while i while i start up a virtual machine and we have no questions that's okay uh let me sorry the i had all of these things downloaded and i forgot that I downloaded them to my external drive and then left the external drive at home. So I have XFCE because it's the smallest one and you know that's about all I can make through all these things. But let me get it. You uh, told me I would have downloaded it for you earlier. Well, you're still going through the same Wi-Fi. Anyway, wait, why? For, Are you sure? Oh, no, I'm not sure. I carry around travel. Oh, okay. I thought it was where I. Oh, come on. Do, 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 do. Oh, great, great, great. Okay, we're, we're trying, we're finding, refresh. Where did they put those stupid things? I copied them to the directory, libvirt images. Where's the libvirt images? So this hopefully goes better than my last demo. You know, I could make this better. Oh, there it is. Or do you want to see the min? I actually also did min. Five minutes. No pressure. No pressure. Okay. Let's. There we are. Let's do full screen. Well, let's just boot it and we'll see. So this is, uh, I, I use uh, vert, 
vert manager is my thing. It's just really hard to see on that little thing. Boot off my disk. Boot. This is XFCE. It's booting. I don't remember how much memory I gave this. I never give them more than um, two gig. Oh. Come on, let's make you bigger than that. Full screen. Scale display. Sorry. Um, is that full screen? Okay. There we are. See in the XFCE, and it, it runs great. We have our little install the thing. It looks just like the picture that I'm on the slide. It does. As, but, but look, I can interact with it. Um, that's the special part. That's the special part. So, hey, let's, let's kill this one and do, uh, do the live, do the things. So, hey, one demo worked. Let's do a uh, minimum because that one's going to be working even better. <laughs> See, okay, browse. There you are. To supply. Okay. Over here. Do that. Boot off the other. And let's time it. Oh, it's going to be done before I can get my stopwatch started. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Actually, it's taking a little bit. I think your other virtual machine is still live. Oh. Yeah, but it's, oh. Yeah, but it's, but it's, finished. Uh, yeah, but it's finished. 12 yeah. seconds. Okay. Let's do. Oh. That made it smaller. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. So we got live. We'll install it to live. How many of you guys have run a text install in the past? Wow. When? Oh, when? <laughs> in the past five years. No, yeah. Okay. The, oh, there's still quite a few. Um, we're going to use text mode. <laughs> Let's see, we want a root password. Uh, you can very much tell that this is bare bones. <laughs> It's not a good one, that's okay. Uh, do we want a user creation? I normally do, but um, we just want to see how fast it, uh, wait, not B, uh, C for continue. Three. Three, three, three still needs to be selected. Oh, installation direction, okay. Publish your root password. Uh, it's <laughs> very, uh, all, you, all you need to know about my root password is it's not very good because it told me I had to type yes to accept it. <laughs> So one disk, no, oh, oh you, you got to select it. Yep. C to continue. Yep. So it's hard because I'm looking really weird. And then, uh, yeah. Use all space. Yep. And I don't care. Just <laughs> what, whatever. Now, now I should. C? B. B. B for begin and everything else is C for continue. Yeah, yeah. this was very much not true. <laughs> yeah. I'm really curious what 10 is going to look like, if they even have a text-based thing. Yeah, they're, it'll it, still be there. They just, well, it, it'll I have the GTK and the text installer. OK, I haven't tried the 10 text install. Uh, just so for people that know, the CentOS Stream 10 has switched to Wayland. It has switched to the latest Anaconda. It has switched to the newest Kickstarts that do not accept uppercase things for UTC and other things. What? That's going to, oh. Yes, that's going to, oh, remember me talking about uh, two to three weeks of, of the images being broken? Oh, no. Yeah, that's, that's what broke it. Oh, come on. Pi Kickstart does select it, uh, does work, but uh, we had our own special. That's such, that's such a dumb thing to break. <laughs> yeah. After updating Pi Kickstart, don't forget to restart your service. Oh, no. <laughs> We had, okay. I am out of time. Is there any other questions yeah, before what, we go? What in the Microsoft math is going wrong with it going from 52% to 51%? Oh, that's, oh, yeah, that's, 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 that's installation percentages. That's, that's it's unique math. It's, yeah. It is it's Microsoft math. math. Okay, well, thank you very much. Um,
we won't worry about the install. I'm, I'm going to wipe it again anyway. Um, thank you. Oh, let's just end it. Oh. So you're gonna you're gonna give this talk in February and the persistent media ones are gonna be working for a live demo, right? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that would be awesome. Yep. I'll schedule it right away. <laughs> <laughs> if if, we'll, if that gets me an airplane ticket to <laughs> Brno or not Brno Brussels. to Brussels, then uh, yeah. then yes, it'll be done. Okay, let's just Yeah, yeah. We're just gonna force it off. It's not like it matters, right? This video's gonna get yeah. used. Yep. Sorry. Now I gotta find my thing. Close everything. Everything goes away.